everybody. It's Sergeant Soldier. It's time for another incoming. Hey everybody, it's Sergeant Soldier. We got another incoming. And uh, it's incoming number 16, February 10th, 2023. I have been uh, streaming for just under three months. And uh, I have a, like 115 subscribers. I went from 100 to 115 pretty quick. It was mostly, uh, you know, it was a lot of people around town, like at the barber shop and things like that. But I had a lot coming in, you know, probably half coming in from uh, all the other Axis of Awesome channels uh, talking about me. So guys, thank you for all the shout outs, man. It's been, it's been a whirlwind. Anyway, I got uh, a few items that have come in. Something I lost and found was a Johnny West double holster. I've got an Army Peacekeeper Maker. I think I showed that off. The other day, got that from Cotswold. I will let me see if I can zoom in on that. I'm definitely going to get some more of these. I got the pearl handled one for um, Perkins. Uh, he's like a Johnny Quest Temple of the Treasure villain, mercenary, treasure hunter. Anyway, uh, let's look at what else I got in here today. I got a one to one scale OD Green. And it comes with a hat block inside of it. And so it's real stiff and firm like the ones you get when you order uh, uh, an action soldier or an action marine or something like that. You get a green hat. So, yeah, and I got that to wear with my one-to-one -one uniforms. I think that's great. Um, next up, Velibers. I got a... Weapons uh, Pack Charlie, which is full of a bunch of weapons for them because I went ahead and after Tony at Analog Toys was talking about quality um, of figures, I got Trigger. I love this freaking head sculpt. This dude looks like he, you do not jack with this guy. I mean, not in any way, form, man. You look at the muscles on this guy. I love this figure. He's going to join Tony and Bill Burr in my 1-6 uh, scale Jeep, along with, you know, maybe Princess Leia. <laughs> we'll see. Um, something that came with the new camera that I ordered was a tiny tripod, which I actually got to use over uh, when, with my interview with Jim Egner. Uh, this had, like, the perfect height and everything. And was able to swivel mount my uh, my camera, my uh, my phone camera on it with an adapter. But yeah, and I've got the adapter. It's, it's on this thing right now. Um, something that already dropped onto the floor. Um, this is always exciting. And I've got these going back down here 20 years. They got the new catalog. And, you know, like Jeff over at Scum Carks. You know, I'm, I've missed out on several. I may pull the trigger on these two for, you know, the hundred bucks it's going to cost me to bring these home to add to my my uh, Team Awesome villains list. Uh, yeah, just you know, and 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 heroes list, of course. Um, but uh, you know, boy, it's, it's uh, Greg. You're bringing it home, man. There's so much cool stuff in here. So many cool uniforms, you know, and just the whole thing. I'm, I'm loving. Um, look at that. A whole page of the stickers and stuff. You know, I love these catalogs. They're almost like collecting a comic book. I've got a thick stack of these going back to the very beginning. And I love getting them. I've got some gaps here and there from just like not ordering for a few years. But, you know, I love getting these, so shout out to Greg at Cotswold for sending those out. All right, next up, I ordered from the cat. I got some coffin boxes. 
and get one special forces figure. I didn't get two, but I got a three special forces green beret by Hasbro coffin boxes. Love them. Just love them. These are these are bad to the bone. In fact, I you know what I failed to open these. These might have something. That's, no, they just have the regular inserts. Okay, but I got other boxes. Um, I got a replacement land adventure because I'm going to be putting one up on for sale at a local cigar shop that has like antiques and guitars and uh, army patches in, in a big bin and. You know, uh, all kinds of little doodads and toys and stuff. And so, you know, I'm going to put a land adventure up there. I already have the head sculpt and uniform. It'll be on a Cotswold body, and I will price it accordingly. So it doesn't, you know, because the, the shop wants to take 30%, and that's, that's like a big hunk. And so I have to raise my price, so I have to cut costs here and there, so I'm not going to put it on a vintage body. Um... Last, this is for a friend of mine, uh, Aaron McGowan, and uh, he was a combat medic, and so I love this box. I love just everything about it. I love that you can get a Hasbro helmet and a Hasbro uniform and tall brown boots and everything that's in it and just make it a G.I. Joe to go in there. So I'm going to make him a G.I. Joe figure. Um, with a uh, head sculpted to kind of eh, kind of match his, I don't know, currently. We'll see, Aaron. You know, well, let's get that Balibar step out of the way. And uh, last but not least, what came in this box, and thank you, uh, a shout out to the cat. I think it says uh, 1965 Hasbro catalog. And, dude, you know, I wonder, you know, when your dad walked by, look at that, $15 for a five-star Jeep, flag, everything. Probably didn't have the figure in it, but trailer, light, and everything, $15. It must have been, like, your dad walked by that, and he, you know, he thought $15. Man, that's like, that's three days of <laughs> pay or something. You know, I, I think my dad worked for minimum wage. Uh, you know, he used to talk about being paid a dollar seventy-five in like the late, like the late late sixties, early seventies, somewhere in there. We got dollar seventy-five an hour, and I'm like, how did you make ends meet? Well, you know, eggs were six cents. So you you know you pull out a hundred dollars after working a week. Well, you couldn't even get to that. You know, you could get, <laughs> I don't know what that even adds up to. What's say that? It's like 16 bucks a day. That's like 80 bucks a week. So, you know, you know, you, you, your phone bill must have been $2. <laughs> but I saw that and the prices on this thing are just incredible. But look, let me, let me just, let me pull that in front of the whole thing in front of y'all. Look at that. Deep Sea Diver equipment set, $8 in the box. Oh, my God. You know, the G.I. Joe Man in the Navy, $4. So, for $12, or, you know, a day and a half worth of work. <laughs> yeah, there's a Foot Locker, you know, $4. You know, are these... How can we even come, you know, in to understand any of this? Look at that. All the equipment sets and everything. It's 1965, so it's all Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marines. And, and uh, no Coast Guard. <laughs> but, you know, the prices on these, you know, $4 for the figures, $15 for a five-star sheet. That just... That cracks me up. But thank you, the cat, for sending me this old catalog. It's like coffin box size, so it came in this box. Kind of folded up a little bit. Or or rounded, rather. But, yeah. I, I, I just love it. You gotta love it. Anyway, that's been Incoming 16. There wasn't much to it. 
but uh i wanted to go ahead and post some kind of video tonight kind of shouting out to greg for the new catalog and uh you know for the great coffin boxes that i've gotten you know three green beret boxes and i'm going to get more next month because i have more green berets <laughs> anyway that's been incoming 16 y'all see y'all in the funny papers